Hey guys, I'm Angelo with Sub-Zero7, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. Last time, we managed to round up Prince Tricky from the Ice Mountain and bring him down, getting him back through the Snowhorn Wastes over that way, and bringing him back to see his mom, the Queen Earthwalker, who unfortunately is still sick. This time, we're gonna head out to try and find some white grub tub to... Grub tub, I... Is it grub tub? I think it's grub tub. Let's double check. Because finally, I can actually show off Slippy being useful, because somehow, this stupid frog that no one likes in 64 is useful. If you ever lost in the story, just ask him for advice. Seems like you need some help. He'll always say that and he'll always give you directions of where you gotta go. White grub tub, that's what it is. We can only be found deep underground. We need to find six of them. Use Tricky to check out the huge stone well that we walked past when we first arrived from Snowhorn Waste. But yeah, Peppy can give us the world map view as well, as well as all the maps we've collected, and General Pepper will just tell us our general status. But for now, we can just head this way. But first up... Gotta try and shoot this bloop down, because I don't want to deal with it. Missed. Come on. Come on! Oh! No. <laughs> I love that the sharp law are basically worthless if once you start shooting them with fire, it's great. There we go. Uh, what do you guys got to say, actually? The white grub tub only grow inside the ancient well. Yep, they give you hints, basically, that you got to open the well. Luckily, Tricky is fully fed, so this won't be too bad for us. We just got to, you know, find a way in. Which I believe is actually on the other side. I don't know why I went to this side. Nope. Yeah. Stupid bloops. I hate this goddamn thing. Anyway. Okay. Uh, Tricky, find secret. Right there. Dig. Thank you. And we'd follow him inside. Yeah, it's really not too hard to get in here. It's pretty obvious if you go in. Okay, Tricky. You stay here. I'll go search down there. But I need to help my mom. And you will be by staying out there. Okay, Vox, but hurry up. My mom looked real bad. All right. We head down deeper into the well, and we need six white grub tub in total. For now, avoid the red fungus. These things do hurt. Try your best to stay away from them. I'm gonna slap you so I can get some energy back. Thank you. Ow. God, we already lost a whole, a whole part, essentially? Jeez. Let's uh, get some more back. Now, we got these whip vines. Try to avoid these things, but we also have our staff glowing, which means, you know, something important. And there's a bomb spore over here, so we can benefit from this. Let's just, uh... Bam. Now please drop it somewhere we can actually reach it. Can't reach that. Thanks, game. Got that. Oh, damn it! Alright, fine, we'll just do it this way. Uh, bomb spore. Plant. Now, of course, just stay far away when you do this. And pop it. Hole in the ground. That not only reveals a secret, but also drains the water. Which is helpful because there was actually a switch over here that we can step on. But for now, we want to head in here. Oh, pff, God! Right, I forgot. Just pressing A too early just kicks you out. Oops. Here's me, my trigger figure. I just always instinctively pull out the staff the earliest that I can. Like that. Nice and rolling. And of course, since there is water, that means we're getting a power here. This is the Staff Rocket Boost. Look out for special boost pads on the ground. They are used to give your staff extra rocket power to lift you off the ground and onto ledges above. Now we have seen these before, but we just didn't have the upgrade for them, but now we do. So we can actually make use of it. Let's head back though. All right, head over this way though, and step on the switch, and the door opens. Perfect. Unfortunately, uh, not perfect enough, because, you know. 
can't just have it be easy. So we're going to break this. And we see a rocket boost pad. Use a staff boost upgrade in your C inventory when next to this pad to boost up the ledge above. Now this does burn magic. Charge up and release. But hey, not too bad. And we get some more of these. I already forgot the name of them. Let's double check because I forgot. Fuel cells, that's what they are. It's been a bit since last recording, okay? Cut me some slack. And yes, unfortunately, I only was able to get one part recorded last session. But hopefully, things will be more smooth this time. I want to also try and grab a couple more of these, because you can never have enough bomb spores. They're just useful for things. Okay, they're all actually going in a decent direction for once. Please do not all just conglomerate on the wall. Thank you. And thank you. Perfect. Okay, that's the that's where the magic plant was. We gotta find another boost area to get us through here, though. Avoid this. Roll right past it. Ah, here we go. Boost. Watch out for this thing. More red fungus. Or red grub tub. And what we're actually supposed to do is plant another bomb spore here of all things. Which is a bit surprising. Good voice crack. Uh, let's see. Get some distance and blow it up. And that drops that block down there that we can actually use to put on the switch. And I think over here, we can... Yeah, get past you. Slap, slap. There we go, puck puck eggs. <laughs> and then I mean to take fall damage. Right, I forgot fall damage is even a thing in this game because you don't often jump that far. Anyway, let's just push this block. There we go. And looks like there's an Earthwalker in here of all places. Or whatever the heck you guys are called. I forget what you are specifically. Because you are... Yeah, you're just a thorn tail. 50 years alone I've been Thinking of entering the Lord's Sanctum Without a lantern to light your way You must be as mad as me Go and see the shopkeeper He should be able to help At the right price <laughs> yeah. Oh 50 years Right, alone right <laughs> No, I don't need to hear this again, sorry Because I also forgot what you're supposed to do is, is get a lantern. Go and see the shopkeeper. He should be able to help at the right price. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this guy went mad. Apparently, just sitting around bored out of your mind is enough to make you go completely crazy. Actually, what am I saying? That makes complete sense to why you go crazy. But yeah, we can't go further down until we get a lantern. So uh, I'll see you guys back in the Thorntail store. All right, back in the Thorntail store. Uh, you might notice my scarab count has gone up a bit. I actually stopped to get some while we were out because I also realized now that we have a big enough wallet, we can get some from this. Except, and if you drop in the scarabs for it, we get a cheat token. There's eight of these in total that you can get throughout the game. As I've mentioned, I believe. And this is the easiest one to get because, well, it's in the th it's in the store and we'll be coming back here a lot. I'll be trying to show the other ones off. One of them is up in the Ice Mountain, but we have to get back up there, so I'm going to have to do some finagling to get over there. For now, we got to find a lantern, though. Let's see, that's the Baffham Dad holder. Uh, that's a bit out of our price range right now. Cape Claw map. Lantern. And it's overpriced. But there is a way to make money. And actually, uh, win money. Because if you want to play a game, you head down here and talk to the shopkeep. How about playing a little game? Choose how many scarabs you wish to gamble. I will then throw them into this cave, and you have to collect them within my time limit. Yes, we can essentially haggle and gamble. If we collect enough of these within the time limit, we will double our scarab total for what we bet. 
I'm gonna bet four for now just to demonstrate the game. He drops four, but he also drops black scarabs. Do not touch those. If you touch those, it's a game move. It's an automatic uh, fail. Where's the last one? There it is. I can't believe you did it. You win fair and square. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but just... <laughs> I, I don't know why. I always dig this weird-ass character. I, I kind of appreciate him. And I think I mentioned this, but his actual, like, in-game name is supposed to be Shabunga. But it's never mentioned at all in the game. So, I'm just gonna keep calling him Shabunga. So, we're just gonna gamble a bit more so we can get enough to actually buy the lantern. But, this shouldn't take more than a, than a second. I'm gonna bet a bit higher, though, just so we can try and sneak a bit of extra cash out of this. So, I'll see you guys in a second, unless something goes horribly wrong. Which probably will. Are you ready? <laughs> Not sure Crap. Good this chat, eh? I'll keep what you did. Yeah, if you don't actually get all of them, well, you just lose. I'll be right back. Alright, I actually got the amount that I need for once. But for now, we're going to buy the Cape Claw map and we're also going to buy the Lantern. Because we will be back for Cape Claw, but that's not going to be for a bit. But hey, all the maps are only five scarabs. You might as well buy as many of them as you can. Hey, maps are useful. I'm gonna try and haggle for this a little bit, though. No, that's too low. Oh, come on. 18. No, that's too low. Come on. No, I don't need to disrupt you, Skates. Get out. Yeah, sometimes if you do that, he just gets mad at you. But uh, if you try it again, you, you can just try this. this. Watch what I do. No, that's too low. If you're careful about it and go up just high enough. No, that's too low. Okay, never mind. He's just gonna be a bitch about it. Okay, Stupid Chibunga. Normally he will be a little bit fair about it, but yeah. Oh well, Firefly Lantern. If you find yourself in dark caves, open the lantern to release a firefly and open your path. And don't forget, the lantern is useless without fireflies inside of it. But hey, we have the lantern itself now, which is pretty useful. Uh, let's see. High def display device. That's for zooming in. Uh, Tricky's ball, which we don't really need currently. FM dad holder. Uh, the other thing. There's a palace map. We don't have time for that. Oh, oh my god, that's not for a while either. Dragon rock. Jeez. I forget how many just weird maps are just like in certain areas. But for now, let's just get back to the well. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, here we go. Now that we're back and we actually got a lantern for ourselves, we can talk to this knucklehead and hopefully he will actually listen. Ah, a lantern to light your way. There we go. Yes, very good. Good, good, excellent. Unfortunately, uh, he was also sleeping on a mound, so you know what that means. When in doubt, blow it up. <laughs> I, I forgot that is technically the solution to a lot of your problems in the game is to just blow it up. You picked a bad spot to sleep in, dude. Jeez. All right, let's head down deeper. So now we're in the deeper part, and he was right when he said make sure you got a light. Oh, there's white grunt tub. Oh, God. There's one. We need six of these, though. This is a white grub tub fungus. You need to collect six of these and feed them to the Queen Earthwalker. So yeah, that's one. Wasn't expecting to see that one so early. These, on the other hand, these are the fireflies that we were told about. Also, bats. Can't have any sort of video game that lets you go in caves without bats. Because, of course. But hey, we got them. And we can also get some fireflies. This is a firefly. It will be stored inside the firefly lantern. Let one out and need to see in the dark. 
Let's see, we can get a few of these guys, so we're gonna try and wrangle them, please. Thank you. It's best to have as many of these as you can on hand, because they are pretty useful. And also, grab a blue stone. That is probably the best one for healing. At least healing up your magic. Uh, let's see if we can find some white grub tub. There's one! Slap. That's two. Oh, another spot we can plant a bomb spore, so we might as well do that. Because, again, you never know when that's going to be useful to just have an explosive on hand. Whoa! Jesus. I dropped a pillar down. I wasn't expecting that. Kind of forgot about that part. All right. Let's keep heading this way. That regrew into another one already. Jeez. Fast and efficient. I like it. Uh, the pathway around here, there's another one that requires a bomb. Jesus! So many bomb flowers. Luckily, if you do need another bomb flower, there is an easy way to get one. And also, we can uh, pull this out. Boost up here. Grab you. Why do I hear a bloop? That is supposed to be nearby. Why do I hear a bloop? Anyways, make the jump over here. You can see another white grub tub in this spot. Two of them, actually. That puts us at how many? Four or five? How many is that? Five. One more. Okay. Let's just uh, blast you. See if we can't get one of these. Come on. Oh, my God. Please land in a, re in a decent spot so I can actually get one of you. Thank you. Two? Yeah, two. I'll take two. Lantern, light the way. And plant ourselves another one. Surprisingly, a lot of explosives for this area. I actually forgot about that. There's quite a bit of bomb flower placement. That's not too bad. Let's just uh, blast that open. And there's the last of them. Oh, yeah! Oh. There is a pillar in the way. That's up. Uh, Ow. And that's the last of them. You hear that jingle, which means we are in the clear to just get out of here. So let's do just that. But yeah, for like a little puzzle area, I kind of like this this section. The well teaches you just kind of basic stuff for puzzle for puzzle solving, but I kind of like it. Get to use the fire blaster a lot, a lot of bomb spore, which you don't see too much of after about halfway through the game, but I think they use it pretty well when they do use it. It's interesting. Hopefully I won't have to start keeping it that's inter it's interesting counter, because I know I say it's interesting a lot. So I try to keep myself from doing that. Alright, and let's head back up so we can feed this to the Queen Earthwalker, because otherwise... Yeah, I don't want to have to think about that. Let's just go and feed this to her. What a thrill of darkness and silence through the night. Okay, good. We're thankfully not at the point where we have a long enough ladder that I got to do more verses of that song, because I don't remember most of Snake Eater, I'm going to be honest. I never actually got to Metal Gear Solid 3, because I didn't really finish MGS 1, or 2 for that matter. I don't know. I, I tried to get into Metal Gear, but this just... Mm. I need to be in the right mood to really play more of that series, I think. The only one I finished was Revengeance. And I do own, like, Ghost Battle, but that's, like... You gotta be in a real mood for that game, jeez. <laughs> but there is also, I think, one boost pad around the entrance to the Thorntail store that we can grab real fast. I think it's over here. Yep. Plant this in here. Boost. And there's another bomb spore area, because of course there is. These things are everywhere in this place, I swear. Why, it's always useful to have these on hand, I suppose. Pop it. What do we got in here? A vase? Ooh. Red beetle, which means ten. And shoot you. Shoot you. And you. Anything else? Is it you, you over here? No. Oh, there it is. 
Well, wouldn't you know it? There's another hole. Let's uh, head down there real fast. Because, as you saw, staff was glowing, which means something useful. No water, which means we're getting more magic meter. And hey, I'd be a fool to turn down more magic meter. It's always useful to have. Staff energy meter. You can carry quite a bit of magic in this game, so it's always good to just have stuff like this on hand. I always encourage getting as many of these as possible. And if you're curious as to how big the full gauge can be, you can actually check that by uh, talking to, I believe, General Pepper. And flipping with C-Stick, you can see all the items you can collect over the course of the adventure, all the different powers you get, key items that are useful, Tricky's abilities, which we'll see more of later. And that's how much the full magic meter can be down there. But yeah, that's the uh, Bafam Dad that we have, the Scarab Bag, all the Grizoa Spirits, actually, and the maximum health that we can get. So we can get a maximum of seven, which I think is a pretty decent number. There's a lot of money resting on this box. Keep up the good work. We're doing fine. Don't worry about us, Pepper. It's not like this game is that hard anyway. All right, now let's go deliver this to the Clean Earth Walker. Assuming there is not anything else of importance around here up top while we are here. I don't think there is. Don't prove me wrong, game. Nope, there is. There's some energy cells. Okay, now let's head back. Ow. I'm just gonna casually ignore that sharp claw guy, because you know what? I don't have to deal with him, because he is not intimidating. Just casually walk around him. I'm not really here. And here you go, lady. Thank you, Fox. Thank you for saving my son and for saving me. Okay, okay, enough of the thanks. <laughs> no, I need some help from you. Can you just tell me what's going on? This is all the work of General Scales. He is the ruler of the Sharp Claw tribe, a nasty bunch of pirates who have always wanted to rule Dinosaur Planet. We have always been able to stop his attempt, but this time he somehow become stronger and defeated our army at the Krizoa Palace. Damn. Right, a bad guy. But how did the planet get in such a mess? Within the Krizoa Palace, he broke the seals of the Force Point Temples. I'm listening. This planet is rich with a magical force, a force so strong that it is continually pushing our world apart. To stop this... What? Four spellstones were placed inside the Force Point Temples. Okay, that's a bit weird, but I understand. <laughs> With the seals broken, Scales entered the temples and removed the spellstones. With nothing to hold back the magic force, the planet was torn apart. At last, it all makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Bad guy takes the spell stones, your planet falls apart, and I've got to find the spell stones and bring them back to the Force Point temples. See, Mom, I told you he was good. Star Fox, yeah. My son will remain with you, for only a dinosaur of noble birth can breathe life into the spell stones. What? That fucking uh, walk. That's okay, but don't you think he's a bit young? I mean, it's gonna be very dangerous. Loads of bad guys, fighting, death. He knows the planet well, and I'm sure he's shown you his sidekick skills. Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. <laughs> Fox, we'll make a great team. Okay, but if you mess up just once, I'll send you straight back to Mommy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, our spies have indicated that Scales was last seen in Dark Ice Mines. I know the gatekeeper, Garunda Tay, a silly fellow, but he can guide you to the Spellstone. Go back to the Snowhorn Wastes and find him. Got it. And Fox, I think you'll need this. The Sharp Claws dropped it when they attacked me. Maybe it'll come in use somewhere. Okay, enough already. Can I just get on with it? I mean, Fox, that's a key, so pretty important. Also, I love that Fox basically just takes the piss out of all the seriousness. Just like magic tearing planets apart. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> but yeah, this is the Sharp Claw prison key. The Sharp Claw must have dropped it when they attacked the Queen Earthwalker, as she literally just told us. Also, energy cell over here for some reason. Uh, I don't know why it's here, but we're just gonna take that. But yes, we have our main objective. 
we have to head back to the Snowhorn Waste, sadly. But that will also open the way to the Dark Ice Mines, the first major other area of the game outside of uh, Thorntail Hollow. Hopefully, we can actually take care of that once we uh, beat up this poor sap real fast. But I think that's all that's gonna, that we're going to do tonight. Next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures, we are going to head out to, well, the Snowhorn Waste and unlock the Dark Ice Mines for us to explore. Till next time, though, ice out.